Welcome back to another episode of School Tube's Ask Mr. Z. Now this is a show where we take your commonly asked questions and we answer them visually using Adobe's Visual Communicator 3 software. Now today's question comes from Eric in Punta Gorda, Florida. Now Eric asks, how do you adjust the teleprompter speed in Visual Communicator? Well Eric, there's really a number of things that you can do. One of them is to adjust the scrolling speed found in the Director's tabbed area off on the left. As you slide to the left, your teleprompter speed gets slower, slide it to the right, and it gets faster. Now, we like to keep it somewhere in the middle for most newscasters. But I should point out that it's best to make these speed adjustments while you're still rehearsing and before you actually record any of your footage, since drastic moves later on can cause problems with your words being still lined up with the trays. So make any speed adjustments before you record anything. Now, another thing we find helpful is to pause and resume the teleprompter as we are performing. Now this gives slower readers a chance to catch up. And by doing this, understand that you are simply pausing the scrolling teleprompter. You're not pausing any recording. And some people confuse this, thinking that when we say pause, it means they're pausing the show from recording, but that's not the case. It's still all being recorded. Now the keyboard shortcut to pause is Control plus Spacebar. And every time you use that keyboard shortcut, it will pause or unpause this moving teleprompter, which is really helpful in most cases. Now one last tip regarding the teleprompter is to make it display full screen. And here's how you do that. Start at the Settings drop-down menu and then Application Settings, and you'll find a box to check that says Display Teleprompter Full Screen. Now this is especially great when your newscasters are sitting pretty far away from the camera like I am now, and you need them to see the words without squinting their eyes. Well, Eric, I hope that answers your question, and I really could go on more with this stuff, but just wanted to give you the basics regarding your teleprompter question. So be sure to check out also my site and training DVDs dedicated to those using Visual Communicator at schooltvmadeeasy.com. Now, if you have a question about School TV production or Visual Communicator, visit the Ask the Experts forums at schooltube.com, and we'll be glad to help.